12 minutes after 6 o'clock. I feel like I would need my sunglasses for some of those destinations, but uh, no sunglasses needed today. Not yet, although maybe by my Sunday morning, Brandon, of course, that sunrise, which has been about 730 or so, is going to be 630. Then sunset's going to be 530, so you kind of can put them away a little earlier. All right, talking about what we've got this morning, first of all, I want to get you out the door because you could get out the door and you should get out the door early. It's just cloudy. It is windy. It is humid outside. As a matter of fact, that shot from Lantana doesn't even show a full overcast. So really this morning, it's very, very quiet. Shh, let's keep it that way. It's not going to stay that way, but the temperatures are 70 degrees, which is crazy for a November morning. These are our average highs and it's first thing in the morning. That doesn't feel normal. With the winds out of the south and the dew points of 67, when it doesn't feel right in November, usually we're going to have to pay a price for that. And what I want you to understand is that the dew point is really high. The temperatures are not that warm, but the dew point is really high. Why is that important? Because as we set up this situation, we're going to get these cloud bases low to the ground because of the fact that as the air rises, it'll condense out pretty quickly. Low cloud bases can tap a lot of energy in the atmosphere. They can tap a lot of wind shear. So at the surface, we've got a strong south wind blowing high above the ground. We've got a storm that's pulling out of New Mexico. It's been snowing overnight into parts of Colorado, obviously cold. As that pulls out into the plains, the winds split aloft from this big storm. As they split high above the ground, what happens is they're forced to rise from ground level. That's the increasing rising motion. So you have the moisture for the energy. The rising motion helps to get the storms going. Got a cold front that's going to come in and help to focus some of all this later on. What it all really spells is two risks for severe weather, two risks across the area. The first batch is going to form without a cold front, without a dry line. It's just going to form from these showers. But remember, they're going to be really low to the ground so they can tap the wind shear. And that's where we get the concern. It's going to be from one to four o'clock. I think this risk is a little too far west. I think it should probably be at least right on I-35W, but basically from Fort Worth, Denton on to the east. The first storms will form. They'll get stronger as they move east. They could produce all forms of severe weather. The second one is more of a wind risk. That's going to be along the squall line. Notice as you go farther west, there's still the risk you get a scattered storm, but it's just going to be fewer of them. So the chance to get rain at any one location is about 80% today. Nothing's changed since yesterday. Other than fine tuning this forecast, it's exactly the same as it was yesterday. The risk is for high winds. There's still the 10% tornado risk from DFW East. 10% meteorologically is a high number. But people are trying to scare the living daylights out of people. 10% is not a high chance to see anything in your, in your neighborhood. That's 10% for a county, which is even lower for your neighborhood. The reality is it's only a percent or two that you would ever be impacted by one. But it's still meteorologically a high number. As we talk about the forecast today, remember, we're looking at models. But we're going to start to develop these storms somewhere around 1 o'clock. 1 to 4 is my first risk. That's going to push through. And by then, it's going to be by about 4.30. It's all east into our eastern counties. These can be worse in our eastern counties. If you live east of Dallas, really keep your senses aware to the weather today and be aware that you might have to take shelter for some warnings. The squall line will form as we get into the evening hour. By 8 o'clock, it'll push through. It'll be scattered in the Metroplex. Then it'll be in our eastern counties. And once it's gone, it's gone. And we have nothing to worry about this weekend. We start tomorrow morning dry with temperatures in the 40s. We're in the, probably the 70s in the afternoon. And then we're even warmer Sunday. So the forecast today, 77, relatively quiet this morning. A couple of showers may form. Storms in the afternoon. They should be out of the Metroplex by 6, 630, the latest and then into our eastern counties. Tomorrow is dry. Sunday is breezy and warm. Monday we'll see scattered showers and storms as moisture returns from the Gulf. And it is a warm forecast pretty much all of next week. And of course, 2 o'clock in the morning, Saturday night, most of us just do it before we go to bed so we can enjoy that extra hour of sleep. Little E will visit your house. Don't leave me cookies because I'm on a diet, but you maybe leave me uh, some coffee. We'll need coffee after today.